Hey, good day, top 10 fam. We are back again with one of your favorite mind melting videos. We brought you part one and part two, and now welcome back to part three of our list of top 10 real humans that might be from a parallel universe. From conspiracy theories we know and love to those perhaps unfamiliar to you, we cover all this and more in today's video. I'm your host, Rachel Fisher, and let's get cracking. Number 10, the Babushka Lady. The year 1963 might send your history teacher into a spiral about all things that happened in that year. On the top of that list was the assassination of President John F. Kennedy, the bullet that shook the nation. With multiple eyewitnesses yet no initial clues to who the shooter was, even though the case pretty much settled on Lee Harvey Oswald, there are still a ton of conspiracy theories surrounding his death. One of which surrounds a mysterious lady named the Babushka Lady, an unknown elderly woman who may have photographed the events. It is clear that she took multiple photos of the assassination, but none of her photos ever showed up. Despite multiple searches for the woman, she never showed up. To add more fuel to the fire, could it have been that she was a simple interdimensional traveler sent to document an alternate reality? Who knows? I mean, maybe there's a reason there's a might in the title, so. Number nine, Alexandria Alexis. You may have seen the side profile of a mysterious woman named Alexandria Alexis circulate social media a little while ago, around 2013. Then, if you were following the story, you may have heard that it was debunked. Or was it? For those of you who are unfamiliar, Alexandria Alexis was a mysterious actress who suddenly graced New York society in the year 1898. She took the stage by storm. Some adored her, others abhorred her, saying that the woman was likely insane. She kept saying she was from the future after all, specifically 2025, but in 1899 on New Year's Eve, she simply disappeared, never to be seen again. So who was she really? Well, it is said that she wasn't a time traveler at all, but a British actress who appeared in New York named Grace Rawlinson. But if you look at the two pictures, they kind of look a little similar, but not too much. So was the mystery really debunked, or is there another weirder explanation that they don't want us to know? Number eight, D.B. Cooper, okay. Hate me if you want. I debated putting D.B. Cooper on this list, but here we are. It's part three, okay? How does a man who no one knows steal a bunch of money, leap out of a plane, and entirely disappear? Unless you're some mysterious, mischievous Norse god. Tom Hiddleston, what's up? Love you. Anyways, the year, 1971, an afternoon on November 24th in Portland, Oregon, armed with sunglasses and a will to pull off a mystery, the so-named Dan Cooper sidled onto flight number 305, bound for Seattle, Washington, bourbon and soda in hand. He made some cheeky eyes at the flight attendant. She blushed. Was he the one? I'm editorializing, but you're still watching, so sue me. He asked her to sit and slides her a note. Was it his number? Nope. It simply said that he had a bomb, not that he was the bomb, or she was the bomb. A rerouted plane, four parachutes, and $200,000 in $20 bills later, and Dan Cooper leapt out of the plane before he could break any more hearts, never to be seen again. It's one thing to disappear without a trace. He could have fallen into the ocean, but who was he in the first place? Cooper was a man without a past, in this universe at least, but who knows about the next? Number seven, Wolf Messing. The man who knew too much. A man so mysterious and enigmatic, he even had minds like Einstein and Freud stumped. Wolf Messing had to be from another world. Or perhaps he was simply a man who lived between them. Wolf Messing is most famous for a psychic prediction he made in World War II against Adolf evil man. In 1937, Messing said, and I quote, and I get to say his name right now, so sorry YouTube. If declares war in the east, his death awaits him." Unquote. He was specifically referring to an attack on Russia, which funnily enough, eventually came true. This prediction angered the German leader so much that he sent out a bounty of 20,000 Reich marks on his head. He was eventually arrested, but escaped after hypnotizing the guards that there were diamonds all over the floor. Damn messing. What a mess. But that's not all. Freud put him to the test himself in Einstein's own apartment. He gave Messing a mental command, then left the room. 
Messing was successful and did exactly as instructed. He left the room, grabbed a pair of tweezers, and pulled a hair from Einstein's mustache, all without Freud uttering a single word. Messing didn't disappear, but actually died in 1974. Whether or not he could physically travel between worlds, it does appear that Messing's talents were not of this one. Number six, the lost colony of Roanoke. We've talked about individuals appearing and reappearing, but what about a whole group of people just the Lost Colony of Roanoke is one of the most famous disappearances in history. Great Britain tried to colonize this island a few times, initially attempted by Sir Walter Raleigh. They were already having trouble with a lack of supplies, as well as they didn't have a good relationship with the surrounding indigenous tribes. Gee, I wonder why. Anyways, they went back to get more supplies, and when mission leader John White returned, there was not a soul there. The fort was fortified, but not a single person remained. The only clue left behind was a cryptic word that said Crotoan, an island they thought the colony had retreated to, but they were still never found. Did some kind of mal event befall them, or did they accidentally find an entirely new world to explore? Only they know the answers. Number five, Sir Victor Goddard. The year was 1935 when a winged commander named Sir Victor Goddard, what a great name, right? Took a flight he will never forget. The man was to fly his open cockpit biplane from Scotland to England, but he may have flown somewhere else by accident. He was passing over the World War I constructed Drem airfield in Edinburgh that was a bit of a fixer upper. That was how he left it, but when he returned home 24 hours later, he flew into an unusual storm, causing him to lose control of his airplane. Miraculously, he recovered from a downward spiral just mere feet above a stony beach, but when he rose back up into the sky, the once stormy display was now overwhelmed by sunshine. And when he came across the airfield he'd seen when he left, it was entirely restored. There were planes he didn't recognize, along with men in blue jumpsuits, which was weird, as the engineers typically wore brown. Not even Goddard himself ever unraveled the mystery, but one thing is for sure, Goddard took a detour that wasn't on the flight plan. Number four. Or Haken Nordqvist. Probably said that wrong. We try our best. Who would have thought that a portal to the future might exist under someone's kitchen cabinet? I mean, I've heard of like wardrobes leading to Narnia, but this is like a whole different thing. A little bit more scummy. A little more dirty jobs. And yes, I know this one isn't technically parallel universes, it's more time travel, but technically it's both because you might need to travel through a parallel universe to get back in time. So I think this counts anyways. Shall we? On August 30th, 2006, 36 year old Hawk found a puddle on his kitchen floor. So he decided to crawl under the sink to sort out the trouble. But the cupboard just kept going and going and going until finally he saw a light at the end of the tunnel. <laughs> Sounds pretty grim, but it's not. He said, and I quote, in the end of the tunnel I saw a light, and when I got there I realized I was in the future, unquote. Out he crawled and he came across his 72 year old self. He ran him through a couple of tests first and the man knew things only he could know. There were things like where things were hidden when he was like five years old and they also had the same tattoo. So he did what any self-respecting time traveler would do. They took a selfie. Check out this clip. Number three, Hutton and Brandt. It seems like these two may have stumbled upon a window in the universe. A universe due to specific events that may have already been at war. In 1932, two German newspaper reporters named J. Bernard Hutton and Joachim Brandy were visiting a Hamburg shipyard when suddenly their world changed forever. They heard the unmistakable sounds of warplanes flying overhead and bombs began dropping from the sky. They quickly took pictures of the wreckage because apparently that was more important than diving for cover and drove back as soon as they could to develop them. But when they went to see the photos, nothing was there. Not a single shred of evidence showed the attack. Their boss thought they were drunk, so they were kind of under probation for a bit, but that wasn't the case, and they knew it. But 11 years later, the exact event would happen in the exact same spot. Their suspicions were confirmed when they saw photos of the wreckage looking identical to the photos they took. Number two, the Philadelphia Survivor. Ah yes, the Philadelphia Experiment. I bet you wondered when this little experiment was gonna make it onto this list, you cheeky monkey. 
urban legend conspiracy theory, the Philadelphia experiment remains a thrilling possibility. In 1943, the USS Eldridge allegedly was made invisible and teleported from Pennsylvania to Virginia. Did this actually happen? Who knows. But the movie definitely did and it did nothing to help the conspiracy theories circling the world. But a man named Alfred Bielek found the film incredibly life changing as while watching it, he realized who he actually was. The lone survivor of the experiment. After seeing the 1988 film, Bielek's memories came flooding back that he was actually Ed Cameron and he had been born in 1916. He'd been recruited by a secret mission called the Project Rainbow in 1940. He said Black Ops sent him through a portal in the Pentagon to Alpha Centauri. While there, aliens interrogated him and transformed him into his Al Bielek self at only one year old. That's one way to reverse the aging process I guess. And a lot of people don't believe him. You can guess why, it sounds pretty crazy, but you know, it's a crazy world. Who knows? Number one, last but not least, the story of Ron and Chuck Quinn. Whilst on the hunt for ancient gold in Arizona, Ron and Chuck Quinn may have stumbled upon something even older and far more mysterious. In 1956, the brotherly duo were three weeks into their adventure when they saw two strange large balls of blue green light. Sounds like an alien encounter. Well, perhaps, though things get even stranger. They discovered that the lights were a reoccurring phenomenon in the area, and the brothers saw them several more times. Later on in their travels, they passed a stone arch way that looked odd among the landscape. They discussed it with a local native named John who warned that anyone who passed through it never returned. See where I'm going with this? They even threw rocks and stuff and nothing came back. It was nicknamed the doorway to the gods. For on top of the disappearances, some reported seeing shimmering figures through the doorway. When the brothers returned to it, at first nothing strange happened. They threw stuff through it, dropped dead on the other side, not a big deal. Until one day, the door started shimmering. The men vowed never to return except four years later Chuck couldn't help himself, so he ventured back and sought out the archway. When he got there, he saw the archway and also a canyon that he didn't remember being there. But when he went to return on his way back, he suddenly realized out of nowhere he had just traveled 250 yards away from where he was when he began his descent back, having no recollection of traveling that far. Did Chuck enter the doorway and something erased his memory? I suppose we will never know. And that was our part three of top 10 real humans that might be from parallel universes. Maybe, who knows, are you or me? We all don't know. If you like this video, do the thing. Let us know by punching that thumbs up button. Make sure to subscribe to stay up to date and comment on what you wanna see next. We know you know we listen to you and we love you for it. I've been your host, Rachel Fisher, and I hope I see you next time, either in this world or the next, wherever that is. Take care, everyone. Mm -hmm.